it's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my playthrough as the USSSR. Okay, so we're making some progress. We're creating the PP, the ultimate PP, which is the Poland Pocket. Um, just to check everything's air su Every one of these icons represent air superiority. I, the game kind of makes a big deal that the enemy has air superiority, but to be really honest with you, Air superiority isn't even that bad, to be honest with you. I guess it, to a certain degree, it slows down your attack if you're trying to blitzkrieg. But they don't even have any. They don't even. The AI doesn't understand that you you are trying to blitzkrieg this province, but it doesn't get it. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, yep. Yeah, so it doesn't understand you blitzkrieg in that province. So the the AI doesn't have air superiority in that area. So I wish this is my pray. If if I could pray to the gods of paradox, I would say, please, paradox, make planes better. Make them better. They need to be as twice, even three times more powerful than they are right now. Because right now, they are really, really not worth the production cost that you're making with them. I just don't think they're that great, guys. I really don't. I've tried to... I, I thought when I first bought this game that I'd make lots of, lots of um, air divisions. And I'd, I don't know. I'd try and make this cool, this cool like, air slash land army. But it just doesn't work out that way. Air in this game is just really, really bad. Um, I, know, I know in the comments you guys might give me a hate for it, but the truth is the air in this game, I've tried it out in several different scenarios, and it's just really, really bad. So, there you go. There's my opinion on that. Alright guys, it's come to the stage now that we don't really need organization for this. We can literally plow into them at lightning speed, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So, this is the plan, boys. Whether you choose to accept it, we're going to build up some planning bonus. No, in fact, no, we won't bother. Let's just go. Aggressive, go. So what I've done there is I've just combined all our armies. So all the armies that were separate ones, you know, the ones that weren't part of separate tank division armies as such. I've merged them all part of my field marshal's army and I've created an attack plan here and created an attack plan here. And we'll call this the glory of the red army, right? Yeah, glory to the red army. The red army. There you go. Literally scares, terrifies, it scares the uh, the Axis. Oh my god, really? Wow. We are pushed into Japan. Japan has very high national unity. To be honest with you, all the Axis powers, not all of them, but most of them have very high national unity. And so does Japan. So Japan is a really tough cookie to crack. Um, and so is Italy and Japan, and uh, sorry, Italy and Germany as well. You pr pretty much have to take near enough all of the cities to make them surrender. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. No, 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 no. I'll just finish anti-tank two. I'm going to play really fast now, guys. I'm sorry if it's a bit too fast for you, but I'm just going to play at my normal speed now. This is pretty much wrapping up. There's not much extra to learn at this campaign, to be fair. We are literally drawing it to an end now. Literally, 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 literally. Uh, we can go for the advanced rockets, maybe? Let's do that. Yeah, pushing directly towards Nagasaki. Nagasaki's worth quite a lot on... If you click on them, by the way, it does actually tell you how many points they're worth. That's worth 30, so that's quite a lot. It's pretty much near enough similar to how much Tokyo's worth as well. Oh, no, you're encircling me. That's not very nice. Attack, 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 attack. So we're trying to take Nagasaki now. Uh, Japanese have got quite high organization recovery rate. I guess that's meant to like represent how resilient they are in fighting. Um, there's like several stories of the Americans fighting the Japanese and how they they refuse to surrender and whatnot. And I guess the game represents that by having a very high organization recovery rate, meaning that if their organization hits zero, to build it up from zero to back to its normal level, it'll be quicker than any other countries. And it's one of their national focuses that. Oh wow, the pockets. Dark pocket. So what you see here, this this army, this division is trying to move back. If I attack it here, it gets pinned and it can't move. So there you go, there's a little pro tip for you there. So that's the reason why, even if you're losing a battle, it's kind of a good idea just to keep doing it, because you're pinning the army in place. So 
see if we can take Nagasaki. How's the army going in Europe? Be aware, guys, having large armies does slow down the game as well. So if you're having slowdown issues, it might be a good idea to avoid these big, massive gargantuan armies. Because if I click on this now, you notice the game pauses for like a second and a half there. It's just the way the game works. Just deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. The German Reich has capitulated. It is over, boys. It is over. I think at this stage, what we'll probably do is we'll grab a handful of tanks. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assign them to a new army. We'll get a jet. We're on one of our best generals back. Yep, Georgie is the man. Uh, can we move into United Kingdom's territory, please? Yes. So if you want to move into enemy territory that's not a part of your faction, you have to ask for it. And we have very good relations with the Soviet Union right now because we've assigned their, we've uh, agreed to their non-aggression pacts and whatnot. Uh, so we're going to move these guys here and attack towards Sicily and just go, be aggressive, go when available. Mechanized 2 is done. That's a bit too far ahead. I think we'll go for equipment. So one thing we've not talked about is resistance. So this is the resistance button. Resistance it shows you how much well resistance there is in a particular region. So right now the yellow areas mean light resistance, or orange is medium, and there you go, and red is very high. You can see that the cities with big populations like Berlin have a lot of resistance, Budapest as well, and and also uh, capital of Romania as well. Actually, is that Romania or Bulgaria? Oh, but Bulgaria's capital has a lot as well. So. So when you're in a war with someone, and the war hasn't fully ended, aka there are other allies still part of that war, they will develop resistance. And what that's going to mean is, they will build a resistance in a province, and they will start damaging the equipment inside of that region. So they'll start damaging the factories, they'll start damaging uh, the refineries in this case, they will start damaging the infrastructure, they'll start damaging the airports. Everything in this area they will damage and break over time. So what to do, how do you resist that? You basically put units in those particular areas. So let's not say we're gonna just, I'm gonna very randomly just grab territories which I think there's gonna have a lot of resistance and what will happen is that the resistance will drop in those regions. If the war ends and they surrender completely, the, 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 the faction that you've defeated, then you'll no longer get resistance in those problems. Resistance is simply temporary when the war is still being fought somewhere else in the world. And that's it really. Um, who is this? Owned by Denmark. Okay. So you see, they're all going to split up now as I've decided, them to, uh, I've given them an order to do what they ever need to do. Uh, mountain divisions, I want to attack. I don't think they need to do that though. Yep. So they're all spreading out now. It also says their resistance is high in specific territories, and it's letting you know there's some in Japan as well that are having issues. Uh, we need to go and we need to grab Nagasaki because they'll capitulate when we uh, tell them to grab Nagasaki. There you go. And everyone else, front line, offensive line. Attack, go, go, and go. There you go. It's really, it's really tricky to get these last provinces that are like wedged in the corner. Um, you, you, because you can only attack from one angle, you don't get as many attack bonuses, so it's tricky. That's why the way Germany struggles to take Copenhagen, because you can only attack from one angle unless you're taking Sweden as well. So it, it makes it really difficult to take. Okay. Spain, you've done really well, dude, but I'll be honest with you, we don't stop sending you stuff. Okay, we're pushing deeper and deeper into uh, Italy. We... Uh, Tell them to attack, yep, aggressive, yep. Go, go, go. So what's probably gonna happen here is we're gonna find ourselves getting stuck towards Sicily. Oh, Japan has capitulated. Another one bites the dust, guys. Thailand has capitulated. I didn't even get involved in that war. That was all happening here. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is tell them to push towards here, just in case um, let's hope there's no troops here. I'm not. There probably will be actually. It's a. It's an important port. So no, no, I'm wrong. Totally wrong. GG. Italy is game. Right. This is another layer of complexity to learn. This is called a peace conference. So now the war is over. 
and the allies have claimed victorious, and the common turn, I suppose. We need to carve up territory that is part of the world of the, uh, the enemies that have been defeated. Now, okay, you have lots of things you can do. You can puppet. You can puppet a country, which basically makes them your puppet, as you would think. Uh, you can also change their government. Um, is there an option to do that? I think that's only democracy, democracies can do that. Which basically means they are fully un independent still, but they change to your uh, government, aka democracies. Um, and finally, you can just grab all the territory by selecting on the map. So, the way it works is this. I am the, I am the person who has contributed the most in the world with a score of 2,604. So, therefore, I am the very first person on the peace conference table that says, I want this to happen. I want this to change. And because of that, I get to go first. And, and as you can see, all these other countries, I've got war score as well. And they also want a piece of the pie. The ones with the lowest scores only can have a tiny slice of the pie, but the guys on the top have the biggest slice. So all the countries that are in green are the ones that have been defeated, and you can see they're all represented by their colonies in Africa, as well as Italy, and, and you get it, all the Axis powers, basically. Um, so first of all, I am going to... What do I want to do? So technically, let's be historical. Let's be... Let's do... Let's do what, um, what the Soviet Union did. The Soviet Union literally puppeted Eastern Europe, didn't they? So, the German Reich. And we're gonna... Satellite... No. So, these are create independent nations. They actually make new countries. Satellite basically just means it makes you the puppet. It liberates them and it makes them a puppet. And puppet makes all the country become their puppet. That's going to puppet the whole of Germany. Wow. So maybe we should grab Poland first. Poland. And then we're going to puppet Poland. Yep. And the Germans grabbed this area, didn't they? I can't remember what this area is called now. It's a German state as of today as well. We've got Bulgaria. We're going to puppet Bulgaria. We've got Romania. We're going to puppet Romania. We're going to puppet Hungary. Actually, what we're going to do as well is we're going to give this territory back to Hungary. We're going to be super, super uber flixy, super historical. Um, can I even do that? I don't think I can. Oh, I think what I do is this. Like, I, I think I have, to, I have to puppet them first and then they appear in the list. I think that's the way it works. So I've puppeted Romania. I've puppeted Bulgaria. I'm going to puppet Hungary. No, I don't think you can do that. Oh. Okay, maybe not. What I'll do at the end of the war is I'll give this I'll give this back. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take that territory as part of my own country. Um Maybe I should take that as well. As you can notice as well, as if you hover over them, it tells you what they do. Some of them reduce world tension as well. But puppets increases world tension. Slovakia. Liberate. Satellite. Czechoslovakia. Germany. Liberate Czechoslovakia. No. Satellite Czechoslovakia. That's what I want to do. And then uh, Slovakia... Liberate Czechoslovakia. No, 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 no. Nope. No, okay, I guess I can't. <laughs> okay. I guess I've got to have... This is actually kind of tricky to do, because these t these states have kind of broken apart, haven't they? So, I don't know. It's it's not as straightforward as you'd think. So I think what you've got to do is take this territory and then hand it back to them when the war's over, I think. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of that way of doing this. I guess I'm kind of playing this historical. This is not how I would have played the game, to be honest with you. Uh, I think we'll pop it Albania. Italy, Satellite, Albania. Germany. What should we do with Germany? Satellite, Austria. Um, satellite, Vinci, France. Uh, Puppet, Germany.
I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to think about this, how this is done. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, peace conferences, you need to go through a few of them to actually fully understand them. Right now, I don't expect you to understand this because this is actually really complex. The first three or four big peace conferences that I got involved in, I just had no idea what I was doing. Uh, and to this day, I'm still a bit iffy with it as well. Pop it, Hungary? I've not done anything with Hungary yet. Oh, I said I'm gonna grab these territories, didn't I? Grab those territories, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab these as well, didn't I? And then liberate Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bit lost here. So Hungary, but it's only grab those territories. Why? I guess I've got to grab those. Oh, okay, we've run out. Oh, I've seen. So what happens is, in a peace conference. Each side text turns, okay? And what's happened there is I just chose to pop it hungry and it didn't select all their provinces. Like, why has this one not been selected? Well, the reason why is because I've run out of points. You see, it's shown in gray there. So I either have two choices. I end my turn here and then let everyone else grab a part of the world and then I resume from that part, that part onwards. Um, are these areas... I want to give these areas to Poland. Uh, pop it, Hungary. We'll get rid of that one. Okay, I think we're all right with that, right? All right. Well, I think we'll end turn here. So what's going to happen now is all the other nations are going to decide what they're going to do. So three things happened here. Three things. Um, the UK has changed this puppet <laughs> to democracy. Um, it's changed Hungary to democracy and it's changed Japan to democracy as well. That's all that the UK has done. That's all they've done. They use their turn to just do those three things. Okay. Um, okay, so I think we're going to take that territory. Actually, no. So what we'll do now is we have puppets. So they actually say they're puppets now. So what we'll tell them to do is we will get Czechoslovakia. And then if you click on Czechoslovakia, you can click on where, what territory you want to give them. And you want to give them this territory. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. And then also I want to grab Poland and tell them they can have this territory. So let's recreate the modern borders. Is that the modern borders? Yeah, that's the modern borders, isn't it? Isn't it? No, that's it, isn't it? I can't even decide. It's it's kind of like this in real life, isn't it? That's Germany in real life, isn't it? Yeah, that's Germany as it is today. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I could probably give them that as well, couldn't I? Just to be a big dick. <laughs> okay, uh, what else we got? So, um, we've got the Siamese Empire. We could, we could pop it there, I suppose. So, it, we've not got enough points to pop it now because it says there's not the options aren't there. Uh, I guess maybe we could take some of this territory, maybe. Take the careers. We'll end the turn. Yep, end turn. So what's happened now is uh, Hungary has taken southern Slovakia. Uh, Poland has taken a bunch of those. That's the one I just did actually. And then China's grabbed some states there. That's cool. So we're going to grab these territories. We'll grab that one. That's one of my cores that actually. Um, Actually, now I think about it, I shouldn't have grabbed that. I think what I'm going to do when the war ends is I'll flip this back to Republic of China. That's what I'll do. Um, okay, so we've we've created our puppet there, haven't we? I guess what do we do now? Do we do we puppet Germany? Oh, we, see, that's how much we haven't got much score. So you can say oh, we can only grab grab one territory. Satellite the Siamese Empire. Literally, it's to pop it the whole of the Siamese Empire. Oh no, it's not though. That's weird. Why does it let me select it all there? But okay, never mind. We'll go with that. Oh, I can't because I can't select it. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to pop it then. Maybe I don't know. So the only way to understand this is all players tech turns. The person with the most war score, the contribution to the war, gets to go first, and. 
they'll take turns taking provinces, and every time they take turn, they'll lose points. But you have a choice to just pass the turn if you want to. It kind of makes more sense, this, you know, when you play a multiplayer game and you're, each player is taking turns grabbing territory. It kind of makes more sense from there. Uh, I think we'll puppet the Siamese Empire. This isn't historical at all, is it? But anyway, why not? Is there anything else we can really do? I guess we could select Republic of China, couldn't we? Where's the Republic of China? Yeah. Have that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. That's stupid, but okay. Um... Okay, never mind. Change my mind. Change my mind. So Siamese Empire puppet enter. Uh, Siamese Empire. What does that look like? Liberated by the United Kingdom. So the United Kingdom liberated Libya. Libya was liberated. L -l 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 Which one is the Siamese Empire? Oh, it's, no, that's not it. That's a puppet of the UK. Oh, the, the UK has made that a puppet. Interesting. So there we go. So I'll give them them, give them that territory, and also the Republic of China. We're gonna help out our communist buddies. Help our communist bros. I'm giving them Taiwan. Oh, <gasps> ooh, that's a very controversial decision, don't you think, guys? Very, very controversial. Um. I guess we give all the rest to Germany, I suppose. Germany. Where's Germany? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm mad about the pretty borders. We need to make pretty borders. It's got to be pretty, boys. Where's the German flag? I don't know. I think what I can always just do is at the end of the war, I can just flip this territory back to Japan, couldn't I? To Germany. I could just say that this is what I want, isn't it? I could end it here, couldn't I? Let's, in fact, let's end it here. Alright, if I say done, that basically just means everyone else can just have what they want. And it's done. There you go, end of the war. The Soviet Union took 11 states. China took 16. People's Republic of China took 2. France took 14. Yugoslav took 1. Annex, Annex, Annex. Puppet, Puppet, or Puppet. Change to Democratic. And there you go, you got the German Republic as of almost today's borders, I think. Almost today, I think so. And then what I can do as well, there's a few things I didn't do as well. So I can what I can do here is return territory to... Return territory to Germany. Oh, this territory. I don't think so, Germany. Return territory to the state of Japan. I don't think so. Return territory to the Republic of China. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. and I give him that back. What? The Pope Polish People's Republic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Poland is grabbing Manchuria. I, I, okay. See, this is what happens with peace conferences. Really weird, derpy things happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, release Korea. Why not? They're not a puppet, but hey, who, who cares? Uh, release territories, release, return. By the way, if you want to know how to do this, click on the flag and it says manage occupied territories and just gives you the option there, I suppose. Finland, return territory, no. Return territories, no. I was hoping that I could return this territory to Czechoslovakia. I don't know why I can't. Look, they have a, oh no, they don't have a core anymore. I guess I would have released Eastern Slovakia then, I suppose. There you go. Can I, how come I can't return this territory back to Romania? I guess I've got this territory now. <laughs> Whether I like it or not. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the campaign. I hope you've enjoyed this. There is a few things that I didn't cover. Um, the, th the few things we didn't cover was amphibious assaults. We didn't cover aircraft. And we didn't cover occupations as well. We very gently looked at occupations, but we didn't go through the full occupations process yeah there you go guys this is how the cold war looks it's not how you imagine is it no oh, well it's a bit different korea what is korea korea is democratic what i released them in the democratic what no korean war guys no korean war
Oh, look. Oh, China has grabbed half of Japan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the end of this campaign, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. It is very tricky to do this historically with the border grabbing. Really, really tricky. Um, I guess the I guess the Baltic states need to be liberated, don't they? I suppose. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a good day. If you enjoyed this campaign, remember to subscribe. If you're on desktop and you subscribe, click on the cog icon next to subscribe, and then click on the tick box to be notified when I upload next. And if you're on desktop, click on the bell icon after you've subscribed. Also, remember to like and comment below with anything else you'd like to see, any other things you or I didn't quite explain very well. Uh, I think I might do a series. Uh, no, I'll keep that one shut for now, but I'll, I'll let, me go, let me know in the comment for now what you'd like me to do. And we'll go from there. Guys, I hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you later, maybe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.